morning, you. It's us. Ha. Your parents. It's 5.47 in the morning. On, I think today is the 20th. Yeah. It's Thursday. Thursday, August 20th. This should hopefully be the last, or no, no. two more <laughs> um, ultrasounds and labs to check on everything. So we are leaving the house now. Appointments at 7:30. So we'll see what happens. We'll talk to you on the way back. appointment and um, it looked the same to me just a building because <laughs> I was outside um, so we'll turn it over to your mother for her to tell you how the appointment went it was a different doctor dr. Mustafa this time um, did the same ultrasound scan I guess right um, they just said that the follicles in both ovaries are getting bigger which is what they want and expect so still on track or whatever the track is and stay in the left two lanes we'll figure out if we need to be there tomorrow or saturday it's still looking like saturday but we'll not we won't find out until um later on this afternoon so daddy I forgot to tell you that <laughs> Could be tomorrow. I just turned it too. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was pretty. It was a quick one this time because I'm getting becoming such a pro at these things now. So I'm assuming that uh, the when they run the measurement sizes and your lab work, that will determine whether or not it'll be tomorrow or Saturday. Correct. So my assumption is if they are growing faster than normal, it'll probably be tomorrow so they can make a final determination of when that trigger shot will be. Yeah. So we we'll should find out sometime this afternoon um, when our next step will be. Just getting closer to you. But either way, the next step will still be the same, uh, more lab work. It'll just be a question of when. when. Maybe, maybe your mom will squeeze out of one less shot. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna see. So, anything else that they discussed during this appointment? Nope. Did they mention if you increased any more um, eggs than last time? They, they're just bigger, is what she said. Okay. I have bigger eggs now. <laughs> or bigger follicles, that's what she said. So we're probably we're probably a week a week or less away. Yep. It'll be five days from you officially being created. Once we have extraction day, the insemination day should be the same day as extraction day, which means that will be the day that you are officially conceived. That's cool that we're gonna be able to track it. Yeah. <laughs> I always assumed that was a Valentine's Day inception, maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's born in November. So that'll be pretty neat. To know exactly what day you're first cells split so um, um, I was thinking this earlier if you were born like during the latter part of May that should make you a either a Taurus so you're gonna be really stubborn 
and fixated on things. Or a Gemini who is absolutely batshit crazy. So <laughs> now! <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I believe in these things, okay? Either way, I'm gonna have another one of your mothers around. <laughs> Your dad is an Aries, so he's a stubborn goat. He really is. I'm a Scorpio and I don't forgive or forget. One of those two profiles are correct. <laughs> Shut up. We'll let you decide. I admit to my faults. You know what? The only relation I have to a goat is I will eat everything. <laughs> stubborn? I don't think so. It, literally, he's not even agreeing with me, so he's really stubborn. Scorpios are emotional people. Emotions run really deep and shallow at the same time. <laughs> Grandma, who is my mom, is a Leo, so she loves the spotlight. She's a natural born leader. Everything is about her. Even you, you are, this is all about your grandma, okay? <laughs> but she will spoil you rotten. And I'm kind of dreading that. You'll be loved. You will be loved. You're already loved. 